have to go walk through gameplay. Where's my mouse? Oh. Well, I guess gameplay video of Thick Air, Steam Early Access. And the finally we're playing uh, another flying racing game. Well, another racing game in general, another vehicle racing game. I don't know if there's any others that are not vehicles, I'll think about it. But anyway, so, um, yeah, Thick Air it is. A, as you can see in the background, a flying car racing game. Which is also VR enabled. And yeah. Um, basically this game reminds me of Vector 36, but maybe more arcadey and simplified. I still want to go back to Vector 36, by the way. Kind of been meaning to, but I kind of been doing a thousand other things. But anyway, so um, yeah, this game is full controls aboard. It supports both standing and sitting VR, which is interesting, and and Vive as well as Oculus Rift. Um, by the way. Uh, Thick Air Copyright 2016. People gotta play. All rights reserved. Thick Air uses the Unreal Engine. Unreal is a trademark of the, uh, the Richard trademark of or or Richard trademark of Epic Games Inc. in the United States of America and elsewhere. Unreal Engine Copyright 1990. Copyright 1998 through to 2016. Epic Games Inc. All rights reserved. I don't know why that came up. It's funny. Maybe the elsewhere. Maybe the elsewhere part. Actually, yes, that is the main part. But it's funny the rest of it. By the way. So, I um, mean, yeah, let's start. Greetings, AI Core 13403. You got know a stunning task. Look at yeah, yeah, authority monitor offline. Great, uh, career mode coming soon. Like I, like I said, this is, like I said, this is in early access. And, uh, it'll be in early access hopefully for four to six months. Uh, and the current state of early access is there's one location. Um, with single player split screen or split player split screen online multiplayer modes, uh, VR mode and three racing modes, four drones, five, ra five race tracks, and that's about it. And they do plan gradually increasing the price from the from the launch price of nine dollars ninety nine cents US, and of course there's a launch discount or of course has a fr fr first week release. Discount of seven dollars ninety nine cents, or twenty percent to make it seven dollars ninety nine cents. So um, yeah, very generous. So let's see how it is. I mean, graphics come out. I mean, I like nothing really. I guess they just strike me as standard VR graphics with Unreal Tournament engine graphics, which isn't too bad. And by the way, uh, this game takes place in the far future in which humans are extinct, and AIs run the show. And the eyes being human-like, they want to do, you know, they have a nasty hat. They, they want to go back to the to uh, some of the roots as well as just, you know, have fun. In which that is racing. As you can see. Actually, you know, the graphics aren't... You know, judging by the Steam store page, I would say the graphics would be worse, but they're not. Let's see what do we got? Oh, wow. Just an engine. Car? Okay. I'm guessing the uh, fan is the front. Okay. Very basic. Or, oh, no, that's probably the front. Yeah, that's a grill. As well as no, I could just they could just look like that's the fr up front of an old car. Let me get, let me put up what year they're what year, what year they say these cars are from or based on. Uh, the late XX century, yes. Okay, next car. Oh, that's it. All right. All right. So there's pitch and roll. Okay, so there's some 3D aspects. This could be more flying game than uh, racing. This could be more flying racing game than, well, uh, Factor 36 is. Then Factor 36 is where, where that is. Very much simulator and very much ground based hovercraft. Where these could be more flying vehicles. Yeah, you know what? Let's go. I really liked from the, uh, from the pictures. And that is the 
Panther. Yeah, this thing is just good in general. It's just good in general. Okay. By the way, I'm tired, so if I sound weird, that's why. Been a long day. Ah, we got Ray Cannon, of course. Speedway, Bedlam, Patrol, Free Room. Well, let's try Free Room first. But first, let's check options, of course. Uh, the, of course, this game uh, recognizes the mask computer, thankfully. Oh. Oh no. Uh, right. Oh, be fed, right? Like, I'm like me doing that. I'll be turning off the pitch to limitation civilization for feedback. Uh, for feedback stays, uh, but the rest I will turn off. And you go to, and you can quit the this stuff from the menu, which is odd, but it works. I mean, again, this game is very obviously made for VR. All right, so let's piss around. All right, controls. Decelerate, thrust left, accelerate, thrust right. Oh, this, oh, this is not a look screen. This is control selection. Okay. Okay, so I guess that's, I guess I guess thrust left and thrust right are more translation uh, or something. Uh, reset is Y. My, well, it's X for me. I'm using well, I'm using Wii U Pro Controller for me. Flash Wii U Pro Wii U Pro Controller adapter. So, um, yeah, and it's also, and now it's currently disguised as a 360 controller, or as a Xbox controller, so we are using the, uh, his input c uh, controls. So, if this game is not automatically changing my pro controller to what an Xbox controller would have, which would be Y on top, then it should, then reset should be on my left, or should be on, where X would be on the screen, on what you're looking at. Oh, we can turn off vertical thruster, or invert, ver th invert vertical thruster off. Uh, I don't think I want to miss that quite yet. Invert pitch on. Don't quite want to miss it. Don't quite want to miss that yet. So uh, I guess let's go. Start. Enter. Please far. Yep. I tried A. Mouse? Okay, I tried, I tried, uh, sorry, must try. I tried all the buttons of the controller and the obvious buttons on the keyboard, nothing happened. I mean, all the buttons are working, so why isn't press A work? Or why isn't press A working? Okay, I'll be right back once I restart the game. Let's try that. Okay, yeah, restart. Press every button I could think of, or press every button and key. Didn't work. So maybe it's just that. Maybe it's just that free room's not working. <sighs> oh, knockout, eh? Okay. Uh, let's just do circuit on the standard map then. All right, let's try this. Hope it works. There you go. There we go. Yeah, it worked. It was just free room that was not working. Here we go. Oh, boss. Ah, come on. Guy. Okay. Oh, oh, whoa, what? Oh, I think I was going on. Wait. Uh oh. Uh, invert butt pitch. Yes. Uh, I think invert this is fine. 
You push down the right side, push on the left side. Oh, that throws the wrong direction. Go! Alright. Ah! Oh, okay. We start worries. Yeah, you need to use your thrusters a lot. Your vertical thr your yaws. Okay, I think I need to. Use the Z pad. Yeah, turn that stuff off. Turn that off. To down. Turn that off too. Ew. Oh, bonk. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, I might. Yeah, there is no such steering controls, is there? Why is my foliage down? I didn't. Okay, yeah, it's kind of hard to see the... It's kind of hard to see the text that you selected in this screen. Because there's no background. So, yeah, I wish there was a background to this. Basically, a little black shadow background behind it that would help. But, yeah, I mean... Oh, there we go. Mr. Royce. Yeah, I think one. I think one. Yeah, my. I mean, roll on my right stick. Yeah, this is why I wanted to do free roam, so I would not have to do this in the middle of a race. All right, show this. better. First for these things. Oh. Oh, great. Thrust. Oh. Okay. Let's try that again. Hey, remember, this is Dual's Balance Craft 2. Love my mag wire is being all weird. Oh, we're just going to find my mic. Okay. Go. Oh. Where's some of these things? Of course, a flame midair. Oh. I want my vertical thrust on my right stick. Okay, definitely can even now. Oh. I did not touch that wall, game. And why is my foliage still not right? And the even needs work too because it's very hard to select things. Okay, there we go. Yes, we start race. Not bad, I guess. Alright, vertical thrust on the left stick. No, vertical thrust. Ah. I want, okay, I want vertical. No. Mode 4, please. No. Alternative. Ugh. Oh, no, I can't get what I want. This is going to be tough. I want horizontal thrust. Huh? Yelling on, yelling on the shoulders and rolling on the left stick? Okay, let's try that. Uh, come on, game. Oh, yes, this works. Although, it's weird. Like, like, they're highly, like, basically, they turn on a dime, but they slip so much. This makes sense. They are anti grass Come on. I think it'd be finicky and not so much. Like, it, like it needs, like, higher sensitivity or something. Oh, there we go. Oh. And the fact that you accelerate so fast and you just bounce off things, which is just disconcerting. Because, you know, most of the time you're used to exploding if you hit something, instead of just bouncing all over the place. I always found bouncing all over the place disorienting when, uh, in games like this, or just in flying games in general. Ah! But it is tough. Oh, come on. Again, I just need higher sensitivities. That's simple. Alright, because the craft just doesn't. 
it spins with a dime, it maneuvers on the dime, yeah, it can't pitch, and yaw, oh, it can't, it can't pitch, yeah, you basically can't pitch, and you can't pitch quickly enough to do anything. For how fast it goes. Yeah, it's, if yaw is really good, oh, why well, doesn't pitch it at all? There we go. I'm getting it now. Oh, okay, you spit the wind. Yeah, it's gonna take me a while. Not, it's gonna take me a while to understand the control of this game, and hopefully, I don't use it for any other game, which is very likely. Uh, oh yeah, I got a vertical for us. Forget about that. Okay. Ah. Ah. Remember, you remember, we have RCS on this thing. Use it. Not used to that either. Get down front. Oh. It's sure will be nice too, but I don't think it's quite necessary. You just need free mode. There we go. Alright. You're sure all skimming this game? It's just so. Ah, what? No! I should have bounced off the wall and kept going. I shouldn't have spun around. But I, I really wish free road work worked. It's just unnecessary for me. But yeah, I also wish that you pitched up and uh, pitched down a little bit faster. Ah! Man, the controls are just so complex. You need, you need to, uh, basically, it's like a 6 degree free road shooter. Except worse. And you're also a spaceship. And you're also trying to go fast in a straight line. Is that Asian? That's like that. Oh, whoa. Ah, I see. It doesn't. Yeah. I mean, if any game. If any game basically. Oh. Ah. Okay, just me messing with the controls. Or that, that's just me messing with the controls. Um. If there was any game that ever, you know, I had a work board in my head, but basically envisioned anti-gravity as a racing thing perfectly, it's this game. This is your stereotypical anti-gravity. Oh, what the hacks. Yeah, I think it's my wheels hitting the wall, but again, it doesn't feel like it should do that, though. It feels like it should just bounce off. Or whatever you call these things. Oh, bonk. Oh, yeah. Again, there is no aerodynamics. Forget about that. There, there is none. Because again, like you're playing the, you're playing the ultimate anti-gravity vehicle. You are the anti-gravity vehicle in this game. This vehicle does not be lots of air or gravity. You're always in space, no matter where you are. Oh, and yeah, I'm definitely getting, I'm, I'm having control issues. Like I was having control issues with. Uh, the new Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. Is that game? I just uh, was well, a anyway. I, I I just kept pressing the wrong buttons. Cause it's just how I am. How I'm wired. Oh! See, I was trying to I was trying to I was trying to translate with uh, the left stick. That's not work when you're translating on the right stick. It's gonna take again. I wish free room worked, but unfortunately, that's just a bug that I'm just gonna have to live with. I mean, the developers did do it. Uh, uh, did patch a game already between this and then, which by the way, this is the. Um, oh, oh, come on! Again, that again, like sometimes you can spin on a dime, sometimes you can't. Um, yeah, today is the. 18th of September 2016, the game released the 15th. And there's already been a patch. So yeah, they, they definitely get free one working. For people like me that need to test the game. Or that need to uh, get control set up. But again, I thought it was going to be just basically back to 36, but you no, know, easier. No, it's not. Come on, game! Again, 
is weird. Like, you can spin on a dime sometimes, but sometimes you can't. Yo. Okay. Oh, I should have translated. Yeah, and the menu moving when you get hit. When you hit something, it's kind of weird, too. I, I can really get good at this game, sure. I just need to play it non-stop, 24-7, not play any other game. Especially any games that have any flying controls in it. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. I should have hit yeah, I should have hit the... I should have shoulder so I'm going to take, take a quick drink of water so I can actually talk. Yeah, I really don't know why sometimes I spin it on dimes, sometimes I don't. Um, I think it's gonna do the bars on the bottom, but I can't, you know, like, there's a tutorial. I, you know, you know, if you, if you do my channel, this is how I record things. I actually, using the power of the story, I powered up the game, pressed insert my record button, and I went, oh, come on! I'm gonna turn. Oh, maybe I'm not using the right, because I'm just using the horizontal, yeah, okay. I just need to keep practicing until I get the old control schemes I made, but yeah. This is how I do my, this is how I record my videos. Uh, okay, that time that was Battlefield, well that time that, that was just arcade, or that was just flying game. Uh, turning the off. So, okay. But yeah, um, I just, basically what you've seen in this video is what I've seen in the game so far, pretty much. Oh, what? No! I tried to go up with that, which is the 60 degree frame shooter control. We go up with the, uh, uh, with the bumper, or with the shoulder. I uh, mean, also, that's that. Oh, I got the control for some games. Alright, go! Like, what I'm trying, what I try to do there is I try to spin my tail around, which didn't work. Man, this game is so weird. Complex. I mean, yeah, if you, if you want a, if you want a really complex racing game, you found one. It's a complex, like, you know, it's a complex, like, like, Vector. It was a complex, like, Vector 3, uh, 360 was, which was similar. It's complex because the controls are so complex. Oh! Ah, controls best. I missed the controls again. Yeah, my brain. How I, how I play games is I, it's all muscle memory, basically. I have, basically, if I wasn't playing a game actively, if I was not actively pressing buttons, I would not be able to tell you what, what controls the game's like. Um, so when it comes down to games with similar controls, I yeah, I try to spin my tail around, but that doesn't work in this game. 